The Brodie's parking lot, home to the Scotiabank Bellama branch, was the scene this afternoon of a robbery, but also of a remarkably swift response by the GSU. A shattered rear window in front of the bank was just one sign of the scene that had played out here. The parking lot was also littered with bullet casings from a pursuit that started in the parking lot and ended around the corner at the end of Seashore Drive, where the police had three of the suspects and their getaway van, while two of their alleged accomplices were at the hospital. These three were kept around to witness the search. But this boat was the other part of the puzzle. This was what they planned to use to escape in what looks to have been a well-planned heist. But no one planned for the police. A video taken from nearby shows the GSU detaining the men in the boat. It started here a short while earlier, where five men robbed a depositor. Robbers stole money. They, they had guns. After having done so, they flee the area in a black van. Police responded swiftly to that incident and uh, end up in a hot pursuit. The pursuit took the police to the area of Seashore Drive, where the officers saw the van coming to a stop and uh, there was a boat waiting to ferry the robbers. However, the police responded by using their firearm to bring the robbers to a stop. That resulted in two of the robbers being shot by the police. One was shot in the arm and the other one to the neck. Both victims have been transported to the KHMH for medical attention. The other three individuals were also captured by the police, and they are in police custody. Police also recovered the firearms that were used in the robbery, and uh, we also believe that the money that were stolen was also um, recovered. After a bad week for the law, it's a big win for the police. While we have a few of our officers who tend to go down the, route, the wrong path, for the most part, we have some very hardworking, dedicated policemen and women who put their lives on the line every day for the safety of our country. And uh, they need to be applauded for the good work that they do. Those officers who are involved in this recent act of bravery, let me announce here now that they will be recognized for the good work that they did. I believe that it is worthy of recognition. And I'm proud as a commissioner when I see things like this occurring. These are the things that keeps me motivated.